tonight's our team report. What's being done to stop the increasing armed violence on the city streets? Nowhere is it worse than in a neighborhood known as the Wild 100s, named for those three-digit streets on the far south side. And that is where Chuck Gowdy spent one night in Chicago, and he joins us with the story, Chuck. Ron, Kathy, the police, as we know, respond to violent crime. Tonight, the I-Team spends one night in Chicago looking into who is trying to prevent the violence and how. We focus on the far south side, about 17 miles from downtown, in the Roseland neighborhood, starting near 100th Street, in an area known as the Wild 100s. Uh, the camera, you, you on? He's on. He's on. He's on. These young men are in a gang. Tonight here in Roseland, their gang is on guard for a carload of rivals that they expect to drive by and shoot at them. Don't bring your ass around here. Do it. He just turned 21. If the enemy gang succeeds, his adulthood won't last long. There you go. As you know, it's getting warm out there. We've already witnessed our two shootings on the block. These people try to help that gangbanger live to see 22 and not die by a slug from one. They are staff members and volunteers from a community-based stop gang violence organization called Ceasefire. Former military special forces officer Bob Jackson directs Ceasefire here in Roseland. 90% or better of our staff are ex-offenders of some kind or another, be it drugs, be it gang involvement, Sometimes the gang involvement is uncomfortably close. Last week, just a few steps away from Ceasefire headquarters near this sandwich shop. It's the little place yesterday with a little boy. There's still blood on the wall. They asked him to volunteer because they want to make a difference in the community. It's nice to see that bright orange going down the street and actually knocking on the doors. To get an idea, we follow the orange-clad ceasefire teams on their normal rounds in Roseland. With some daylight left, they begin going door-to-door, -door, letting residents know that they are working to prevent violence and recruiting supporters. By nightfall, though, ceasefire's former gang members, now called violence interrupters, caravan into more dangerous zones. Where vandalism very often gives way to gunshots. This hood is kind of bad. It's bad. How often do you hear gunshots fired? A lot. What makes the neighborhood bad? Well, all that shooting and stuff. Ceasefire street contacts say this Roseland street is ripe for bloodshed. It has got worse. It's like people fighting for like areas, basically. People getting into it for um, no reasons. Little petty stuff. Gang counselors have had their hands full this year. So far, since the beginning of 2010, Chicago police statistics show that the Roseland neighborhood has had more violent crime than any other section of Chicago. High school student Juan Daniel was buried last weekend. A shrine is now on the fence in front of his home, right where Daniel was shot and killed in a gangland-style hit just before his 17th birthday. Daniel was raised by relatives who told me his mother was a drug addict and his father was an imprisoned gang leader. My focus has not been the what if, the whys. It's, it's, we, we have to get through this. We have a void in our lives forever now. The final stop of the night, an attempt to prevent further bloodshed in Roseland. This night, we found that gangbanger with the glass of cognac still trying to justify life centered on retaliation. I love my gang at the same time. They came through the other day and took two. Got what to you mean? Y'all got to come. So y'all talking to the wrong people. I don't come outside around here. You don't come outside at all? Why is that? Cut the violence and the shooting. What do you do when you come home from school? Go straight in the house. There's a kid across the street. I'm looking at him. Who says he can't come out of his house because he's basically too scared of what happens on the streets. What do you think about that? I was raised around here. 21 years in the same crib. I'm outside. I'm alive. Well, what does it say, though, when a 13-year-old kid feels like he can't come outside because it's yeah. not safe? Yeah, he shouldn't be outside no way. Yeah. It's it. It's it's home. Home. No, look, no, hey. You scared, go to bed, man. No. I mean, no, that's how it is. No, if you scared, go to bed. Stay in the house, why? play a game or something. Why, why should it be that way? It's not. I mean, what you, what you want us to do? We, we, we would take them his eyes. Oh, this game banging is irrelevant. It isn't a closed circle of despair. We met anti-gang volunteer Blake Ferguson, a junior at Corliss High School, who wrote a song he wants you to hear. All this violence in the neighborhoods, 
He's too cease to increase the peace. All these boys are just followers. They don't want to do the right thing. And those violent interrupters from ceasefire say they do not pass information along to the police. The message in that young man's song is so impressive, we have posted a music video on our website at abc7chicago.com. We plan to continue our reporting on what is happening out there one night at a time. Good stories. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John.